When I was at my old home library, it was back in 1987, and it was a four month OCD hell. I would, what would happen was, I was basically, it was like I was bedridden. I kept thinking and thinking, I had these numbers in my brain, good numbers and bad numbers, and I'd get out a piece of paper and write, like in sequences, and I had to end up with a good number. So, couldn't end up with a bad number. So what would happen, when I put, put some of those, when I work them out, I'd put them in the bin. And then I thought to myself, I just better check it, make sure, you know, it's all fixed, it's all a good number. Went back into the bin, pressed them out, yeah. And then another, uh, it kept, it was concurrent, it kept happening in the, in the brain. It was just a thing I had, um, but it was, yeah, it was four months I had it. And it was just, it was, a, everywhere I, I went, I just felt low. I just kept thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. I couldn't concentrate, you know. My mum would come in and bring me coffees. And that, uh, it was lasted for four months, but it was like I, I thought about suicide. I really did. It was a, wasn't, you know, far off the case. But then after, yeah, I felt, um, the next couple of years, it, it got much better. But it, this was this four-month hell I had, this OCD. And it was just, um, Christmas Day 97 was terrible. But I got over it. And I never thought I would, but I got, this is now, I mean, this is 30, 30 years ago it happened, so it's a long time ago. But now, yeah, I'm happy, I'm doing what I love, acting and writing scripts, um, ordering Uber Eats for Annie 9 and watching movies, that kind of thing. So, you know, I don't do much. Um, I'm happy with what I do. So, you know, I'm not someone that goes and acts that's on the piss or, you know, takes drugs. I've never done any of that. So, but yeah, it's I feel much better now, so I'm much happier. So I think you can tell I am.